Good morning, folks. We've got a number of space weather items to hit today. We're also going to peek in on the latest climate shenanigans, and we'll cap off with a paper that will make the sharpest among you smile. We're going to start with the last 24 hours on our star. There were several eruptions off the limbs you'll see here. The uptick in flaring and CMEs has continued, while the Earth-facing solar quiet has held strong. As we have been discussing for several days, we have minor CME glancing blows on their way to Earth, and while the first one impacted on the 11th, the second one hit last night and was even weaker than the first one. We do still have one more on the way, forecasters expect it to impact today, and produce some low-level geomagnetic storms. The prettiest eruption is the one we saw in last night's video. We'll be eyes open for more of these eruptions and on the solar wind for that last glancing blow. The northern sunspot groups born over the weekend have continued to grow but have been as quiet as the bigger sunspot on the south, which is now in decay and is beginning to approach the departing limb. The spots need more magnetic mixing in order to flare. We're going next to the climate maps for January and beginning at the United States, where we once again see the nighttime minimum temperatures on the right are far more anomalous than the daily highs. Remember, what they call global warming is 70% about it not getting as cool at night rather than super high day temperatures. On the global scale, it's the same shenanigans. This is the map they're showing to the whole world. Look at the red. Down at the bottom, you can see this is the qualitative map. So red. Now, here are the actual numbers. Quantitative. Does this look like the other map or does it seem to show a mix of hot and cold? This is a key part of the propaganda campaign. Last but not least, an excellent paper has come out questioning the accretion models and astrophysical scenarios. This applies to galactic cores, but also to stars. And don't forget, this is the mechanism by which they say recurrent nova events are triggered. For those of you who know the paradigm of how little they know nova, now the mechanism they wish was exclusive is under fire. Not going to lie, this is very funny for a veteran observer. We greatly appreciate your support, eyes on the sun and the solar wind. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.